On today's show, VW's cheating scandal hurts its bottom line, Yamaha develops an autonomous motorcycle riding robot, and a few tips for restoring your headlights. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for October 29th of 2015. Volkswagen is already paying the price for its diesel scandal. Sales of cars and trucks dropped nearly 3.5% in the third quarter, and the company posted big losses, thanks to a charge of 6.7 billion euros to pay for the scandal. If not for that charge, the Volkswagen Group would have posted very strong results. That shows the underlying strength of the company, but no one in the industry believes that this is the end of special charges. VW is going to be paying for this cheating scandal for many quarters to come. Fiat Chrysler also took it on the chin because of special charges. Sales were up, revenue was up, and its profitability would have been up strong, except it had to take a 600 million euro charge to pay for a ton of recalls. That includes paying for the recall to prevent hackers from getting into its cars. And now Automotive News reports that FCA is adjusting its plans for reviving Alfa Romeo. FCA still says it will spend 5 billion euros on developing new models and stands by its plan to sell 400,000 Alphas. But instead of doing that by 2018, now it looks like that will be stretched out to 2020. It looks to us like the cost of those recalls blew a big hole in the Alpha product plan. The big financial hits VW and FCA took should be a lesson to CEOs that they can no longer drag their heels when it comes to any kind of defect in their cars. We'll be back with some cool concept cars right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles, and by Pure Michigan, leading the automotive world in intelligent connected vehicles. We run on brain power. Yamaha may be best known for motorcycles and ATVs, but it's no stranger to the automotive industry. It produced the V6 engine that Ford used in the early Taurus show. And now it's showing off a coupe concept at the Tokyo Motor Show called the Sports Ride. While everything was kept to a minimum to cut down on weight, the concept sports some pretty wild styling, especially the nose of the car. We think it looks a little Alfa Romeo-ish, or maybe even a little bit like an old Lincoln grill. What do you think? In terms of size, the sports ride is about the same as a Miata, but it only weighs 1,650 pounds. Now that would make for some pretty spirited driving. And speaking of Yamaha, it just came out with an autonomous motorcycle riding robot it's calling Motobot. While it still needs the assistance of a human to get going, Motobot is capable of taking over after that. And the end goal is to be able to beat a professional MotoGP rider around a track. That may never happen, but Yamaha also thinks it will be able to learn enough from the project to develop next-gen safety technology. Street Legal Performance, a company that makes aftermarket parts for GM vehicles and is now owned by Roush, will be debuting a new supercharger for GM's LS7 7-liter engine at next week's SEMA show. The supercharger, which cranks out 625 horsepower, is now available for the Z28 Camaro. Autoline has also learned that Borg Warner is developing an electric supercharger that will come out in 2017. Unlike a belt-driven supercharger, there are no parasitic losses with an electric one. Power is on demand. Coming up next, we go into the Autoline garage to show you the proper way to clean up your headlights. True love will find you in the end. Hi, Dad. When you're committed to the job, but don't give up and your tires can't be weak in the knees. Love will find I don't go. In the end. Durable, dependable Firestone tires. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. 
I'm sure we've all seen a set of faded yellowed headlights coming at us down the road before. And over the last several months, I've noticed the headlights on my car started to look the same. So last weekend, I decided to do something about it. Headlight lens restoration videos are nothing new. I've watched several on YouTube myself, but they always seem to leave out a few important points. Here's a few pro tips I learned over the years as a mechanic. I think obviously first and foremost is that uh, you need to take your time and do it right. And make sure you give yourself enough time. This process took me about two hours to do all four of these lights here. Um, but you're taking that time so you can get one nice even layer on these lights. It's going to look better in the end and over time when they start to wear again it's just going to be a more even wear. And uh, you know that kind of leads me into my last point there is that these are going to wear again uh, and they're not, it's not going to last as long as it did from the factory. Remember these things come with a protective coating on them from the factory and we've now uh, sanded that whole coating away. So these aren't going to last as long. You can probably expect about two to three years before you're going to need to do this again. For some of you that, you know, that might not be an issue, but for those people that like to keep their cars a long time, that's something to take into consideration that you're probably going to have to do that again. If you'd like to watch that entire video and get a couple more good pointers, you can watch it right now on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to join us for AutoLine After Hours this afternoon. Joining John and Gary will be Lynn Bishop, the VP of Engineering Services at Pratt & Miller. So if you'd like to learn what it's up to in the defense, automotive, and power sports industries, tune in today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on our website, AutoLine.tv. But that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.